Hey y'all, this is Artez Gray coming through with another video on this wonderful Wednesday. I hope y'all have a wonderful week. All right, y'all, a lot of things been going on news-wise around the world and in this country. And I haven't really been jumping on stories so quickly and everything like that because at the end of the day, hey, I upload when I feel. <laughs> but other than that, let's get into this story. Two teen girls charged with hate crimes in Queens anti-white bus attack. Two teenage girls accused of an anti-white attack on the Queens woman riding an MTA bus was arrested on Tuesday and charged with hate crimes, according to police. The suspects, 15 and 16, are facing assault and aggravated harassment raps over the ugly July 9th attack that left the 57-year-old victim, Jill LaCroix, bloody enough she required three staples to her head, police said. Both charges were classified as hate crimes, NYPD said. A third suspect is still being sought. The arrest come more than three weeks after the assault on the south on a southbound Q52 MTA bus near Jamaica Avenue and Woodhaven Boulevard. While riding the bus, LaCroix, a grandmother of five, was approached by three female assailants who struck her on the head with an unknown object, causing bleeding while making anti-white statements, according to police. LaCroix told the Post earlier this month following the attack, the three suspects accused her of being a, tr a supporter of President Donald Trump and one of the attackers told her she hates white people. The way they talk, hates white skin, the way their skin cracks. <laughs> Never in my life have I been attacked like that, said LaCroix. All right, you heard the story. These young ladies are getting hit with an anti-white crime. Now, to me, this is very problematic because at the end of the day, how many racial incidents has happened pertaining to the white people? And now y'all want to sit here, and you know, and you know they've been pushing, pushing, pushing for the longest um, reverse racism, and reverse racism, and trying to make it seem like black people can be racist. Black people cannot be racist because we're not, we don't have a structure of power that oppresses people. Think about it. Just think about it. Just think about it in the last hundred years, really, the last hundred years, who have been doing the oppressing? What has this government um, mainly consisted of race-wise when it comes to oppression? Who is doing the most when it comes down to keeping all the minorities downtrodden? And even poor white people downtrodden, but they, you know, poor white people don't want to pay attention to it. You know, they, they don't see the fact that they see poor, poor they see y'all like they see black people and other minorities. You're not no help to their race, you just poor white trash. And y'all don't like that either. Poor white trash. That's what they see y'all as. But no, y'all won't get caught up in the racial politics and not seeing the fact that they are using all of us for their gain. That's what y'all don't understand. But back to the story. Now, should they attack this woman? No, but we don't know what the details of it. Did they just outright just start attacking this woman or did this woman say something to get these young, young ladies riled up? Because at the end of the day, um... Who knows how many black people are really uh, feeling like this? Because that, because y'all, you know, I'm sorry y'all, but many of these white people can't um, deal with the fire that they started. Because when black people and other minorities start talking about how much they dislike white people, it's just a big hoopla. But we got to hear all type of things when it comes down to the other races. So I do hope these young ladies don't, you know they're going to try to do well, they can to put them in jail, but for real, for real, I really do hope that something else come out of this story and we find out the reason why. But if it's just for the fact that, hey, I can't stand white people, I'm gonna be honest with you. Freedom girls, because even though, quote unquote, it wasn't right, look at the world we live in. Look how, how many times our people are attacked. Look how many Karen, Karens and Kevins out there causing a the ruckus and just harassing black people. Black people can't even be in a situation just pertaining to ourselves while somebody's sticking their nose in it. You see plenty of examples on the internet when people, black people just minding their business, and here come a Karen, here come a Kevin, here come a Asian, here come a Hispanic, here come somebody that is messing with black folk when black folk ain't going out, they ain't to mess with nobody. It's a constant thing. But you then y'all get upset when black people just start going, going all willy-nilly and start messing with people and start doing other stuff to other races. You know how many races, races have set up here and attacked black people, but everybody wants to sit here and clutch their pearls once black people retaliate. Because y'all are afraid of us. Because y'all really know for real at the end of the day that 
Y'all got uh, y'all got to pay the piper. You got to pay the piper. So that's why it is so 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 beneficial for the rest of them, for us to be um, in disharmony. Because we so busy fighting each other and fighting everybody else that we lose the ground either way it go. So to all my fellow um, indigenous people, because at the end of the day, black is not a good term for us to be using for real, for real, because it doesn't give us no designation. We are indigenous people and we all need to come together as that. Bump all this classism, social, uh, all the isms and everything like that. Because at the end of the day, you see the world is against us for no reason, for real, for real. They have no reason. Because they don't. Because what else they do is fear and jealousy. Because you see everybody steals from us. And it's not, and I could say it's crazy, but it's not. They've been doing this forever. But here go the thing is, are we going to continue to do this forever being um, not united? That, that's just a question I just got to ask. But overall, y'all, good luck to the young lady. I hope we get more information because well, I'm not about to sit here and act like uh, I feel sorry for this LaCroix woman. I don't. I don't. All the hell that this world is going through, I don't. A little little white ass whooping on uh, it isn't going to make or break this damn country because at the end of the day, look at all the crimes that's going on now. Not perpetrated by indigenous people, but by those who claim they're losing their rights or those who just choose to do it. All right, y'all. I hope this video made sense to y'all. I hope y'all got my um, point. Please let me know what you think. And also, what do you think about reverse racism? What do you think about these young ladies getting hit with anti-white crime? I don't like that. I don't like the anti-white crime. There's some BS to me. Because at the end of the day, y'all have done crimes against all of humanity. Look at the history. For real, for real, the Vatican, the governments around the world need to be sued for their crimes against humanity. And that's it. All right, y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is not hard. It is not. You ain't got to pay for nothing. Just, you know, let me know what's up. All right, y'all. Enjoy y'all day. Bye.